Okay. Um, will Sona be joining us shortly? Yes, she will. Oh, we do ask that you turn your camera on during this question here. Oh, is it is it required since not everybody is looking entirely presentable at this moment? Yeah. I'm asking a serious question because I, I, I can't lie to you and say that's yeah. part of my integrity. It's required because this is sent out to the whole student body and they need to know who they're voting for. Okay, so good afternoon. My name is Okay Omi, and I will be your moderator, your moderator for today. As I standing as as president, as I am the executive board presidential candidate. So at this, I do ask for your name, the position you're running for, and your opening statements. We will start with Precious. You ready, practice? Um, well, I, unfortunately, I'm, oh. I'm still in the process of turning in on my camera, but um, I can definitely give my position, my name, and my um, my opening statement. Um, hello, my name is Precious Agari. Um, I am currently a junior, becoming an uprising senior. Um, I am running for the vice president position of of 2021. Um, and my opening statement goes as follows. I have been involved in SGA since I came to Parkdale. This has been one of my true passions. One of the things I've remained consistent with throughout my current three years, going on four years. And I don't intend to give up on this passion. And I want to continue to be an advocate for my class and for others that are even outside of our class. I want to continue to be an active member and be able to um, emphasize my role as somebody that is, you know, part of SGA, not just SGA, but even as vice president. This is something that I hold dear to me. And starting from treasurer, moving on to being vice president, I know that the responsibility is something that I can handle, something that I want to continue to carry with me as we go through our senior year and prepare for all the things that come with the year, when it comes to prom, when it comes to um, graduation, regardless of the circumstances, I want to be an active member when it comes to that and be able to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So vote for me, please. All right. Uh, once again, before we go on to the next person, uh, part of this forum is you. we have to see who you are as you as a, um, a student leader. Or as a, a, a public servant, we can't um, we can't uh, even allow your candidacy without knowing who you are. So everyone needs to turn on their cameras. I 
Everyone's muted. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. I don't have your camera on. Are you ready to keep going, Mr. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. You can go ahead. All right. So our next candidate, with their opening statement, please state your name, your and your position. We will have Sona. Okay. Um. Sorry for my attire. Sorry. No. That's yours. But um. Hi, my name is Sona Bundu, and I am standing as the potential president candidate for the class of 2021. Currently, I am running for re-election for the president of class 2021, as previously stated, and um, I am in grade 11, uh, a rising senior. So um, for a brief statement, I just want to say that I feel as though the journey that my class has, or that the class has gone through together to get to where we are now has gone far. Um, starting off freshman year as being vice president and moving my position upwards towards the end of freshman year, I had to um, take on a higher rank. And um, I feel as though that that journey was difficult and it was hard, but I feel like I adapted to it well um, for sophomore year and junior year. And running for re-election for senior year is something that's really important to me. And I feel as though I want to finish off as strongly as I started. So. Thank you. Next, we will have Ogechi, your opening statement. Please state your name, your grade, the position you are running for, and your opening statement. So, um, hi, my name is Ogechi. Um, I'm running for the treasure for class 2021. Um, I'm in grade 11. And um, at first I started off in, in SGA as the appointed treasurer and, you know, working along with the other SGA officers and SGA as a whole, you know, that's something that's really like important to me. I like to see our senior year go smoothly and just SGA, you know, working together to get things done in the school. And yeah. All right. Thank you. I also want to acknowledge our timekeeper. We have Fanta Kava in here. So at this time, we're going to start with our first question and we're going to do it alph in alphabetical order. So we're going to start with. Precious. First question to you is, what do you believe is our most present issue at Parkdale High School? Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. We're going to start with okay. Start with who? We're going to start with Ogechi. We're going to start with right I'll, I'll be right back. I have to adjust some and put my camera on. All right. So you, the first question is, what do you believe is our most present in the part? Um, like SGA or like Parkdale as a whole, like the whole student body. The whole student body. We can touch on what you feel is the most important to you. I would say like um, participation in anything that like SGA like any events that we host or like things that we try to do to get like the student body involved. I would say that a lot of people, they don't participate. It's like they don't really care about what we do in a sense. I'd say that's a problem, getting everyone active. All right, thank you. We will move right on to the Ready right now? Sona. Oh, sorry, can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. Um, I feel as though present issues at Parkdale, um, like what you said, I feel like school spirit, you know, just being, having like a majority of our class or just the school in general being participating in like activities, I feel like that, that kind of comes and goes with certain events and, um, certain time periods during the school year. Cause I know the school year um, during spirit, I feel like spirit we had a lot of participation. I feel like it was the most I've seen since I've been at Parkdale, honestly. Um, and then I feel like for the homecoming, it just, you know, it wasn't the turnout that we all wanted, but I feel like that just like, it just comes and goes with the students, I guess. Um, another thing I've noticed is the division between like, um, like admin wise and like the principal towards like the student body. 15 seconds. Huh? 15 seconds. Oh. 
So I'm just going to stop right there. Sorry. Okay. Um, so lastly, we have Precious. The question is, what do you believe are our most present issues at Parkland High School? Precious? Precious, you're muted. Okay, so I think one of our main pressing issues is um, participation, definitely, because what we tend to see is that while we do have many events that are oftentimes for the um, heightening of um, participation amongst our peers, they don't necessarily get a lot of traction. And um, although we do try our best to sort of promote those events and get them out there to make sure that everybody's aware of what we have going on and they can participate, um, I do see that a lot of times there are different different variations of how people feel about those events and then they end up not wanting to go because of certain mindsets that they have in place. So um, that's one issue I think is very um, apparent. Seems like when... All right, so that, that's one of the main issues, I think. Thank you. Okay. So the next question will be, how to your platforms, and this will be the forms result such issues that you all just named. We will start with... Jamoka, can you repeat that? Please, I didn't hear you clearly. How could your platform, and this will be the time to now state your platforms, resolve such issues that you all just named? You got me? Yeah. And we will start... Okay. You hear me? Yeah, you said um, how to state our platform and how... Um, our position was resolve these issues. Yeah, your platform is to resolve these issues. Um, I feel like as a treasurer, you're like the person that tries to get events going. You know, think of things that people in your class or like other people will um, participate in that will get a uh, a good out a good outcome. So I feel like in my position, um, I would could really contribute to that. To, you know, get things going that also would like. It doesn't have to only be events that will. Um, help with fundraising, but also other events that we could just get other people um, in our school to just participate in so that they know like what she is, to just get everybody together, you know, and help people be active in SGA. Okay, thank you. I guess you have to have What'd you say? I said Sona. Okay, um, so I feel like Obviously, um, social media is something that lots of kids our age, you know, use these days. And I feel like coming from us, we all have social media platforms. That's the main way that we get events out. And even during a time like this, during quarantine, we've been on social media, like, constantly, you know, motivating people, telling people about the upcoming step, step up week. So, and also that I have a, um, I've made a professional um, social media account that will I will just use to just, like, positively bring the things that I have accomplished as well as my class, um, along with our Instagram and our Twitter. And also being the fact that um, I'm in also um, other clubs such as BSU and I resign, I'm not resign, I have a position on the newspaper staff and we have a lot of things on our website that we use to get out events or with things going on in our school. So I feel like just having something from each perspective, like social media, having something from newspaper, other clubs, just so you get kids from different like aspects of the school who are out like everywhere, you know. So I feel like just knowing people from different friend groups or just knowing people from different clubs and things like that will get the word across. So uh, thank you. Let you have practice. So um one of the main platforms I use to advocate for um, specifically for part participation and to heighten that is usually just my own mouth. I always advocate through telling people directly that these are things you want to come to. These are things that are for your, um, your enjoyment, your entertainment, because, of course, going to school every day, you tend to get tired and, and just overwhelmed with what you're already given. So just being able to talk to people and tell them, yeah, this is something that you can use to take a break from school and take a break from all your responsibilities. Well, maybe not all, but just take a break from something that you're always doing and just find some type of difference 
or some type of engagement that you can enjoy is something that I always used to, I always talk about. In every class, you you ask somebody and now tell them that, you. they'll probably tell you that I always, I'm very much an advocate for everything I talk about. If I'm talking about our spirit week, I'm saying this is spirit week. I know you probably think it's not, it's, it's, it's boring. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be cool, but you don't know until you participate. So, um, and of course, social media as well. So, that's thank you. So, so I appreciate all your answers. Do we have any closing remarks prior to us moving? Question? No. Okay. So my next question is: What does our school platform focus on, and how will you ensure that? success of such platforms. I will name the platforms for you. They are School Spirit, Fundraising, and Community Service. So as potential candidates, how will you ensure the success of the execution of such platforms? We can start with Precious. I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Okay. So I said, what? So our school focuses on school spirit, fundraising, and community service. So as potential vice president of Class of 2021, how will you ensure the success of such platforms? Um, well, I'll definitely ensure by making sure that I, I ensure the success of such platforms by making sure that I get out the word to as many people as possible. Um, definitely when it comes to um, class spirit, making sure that we um, engage on various types of media to that everybody is aware of that and just engaging with students in general to make sure everybody is aware of the different types of events and activities we have coming or have in place. Um, and then when it comes to school spirit, same thing, making sure that everybody is engaged, making sure everybody is um, in um involved and understand that it doesn't always have to be black and white when they come to school they can engage and be able to you know and, and participate and enjoy the or oh okay and um then finally when it comes to community service community service advocate for the school service hours that we have in place when people who are for opportunities so that's basically it all right thank you precious right on time Next, we will have Ogechi. Um, so to ensure that um, the things that SGA um, strives for get done, I mean, we have to um, spread the word like using social media, talking to our other peers for like things like fundraising events. We have to um, talk to everybody and try to spread the word on our social platforms to try to get everyone to come out. Um, community service, we have to also spread the word because if we're not trying to get anything out, nothing's really going to um, happen no one's going to show up to anything and yeah all right thank you and lastly we have sona okay um for the first aspect i would say for school spirit on how i would you know cater to these things i feel like recruiting more people for um our class council is going to help um not even just like people from our friend group you know we're recruiting people who are in different friend groups people who are in different clubs and sports that way like the work can get out to everybody um, even just talking to ESOL students, you know, having people who can translate, making flyers in Spanish so we can cater to ESOL students or students who, you know, who don't speak Spanish because at the end of the day, they do make up most of the, the population of Parkdale. Um, I would say uh, also social media um, for fundraising. After our first years, um, you know, being an SG and everything, we realized what works for our class and what doesn't work for our class. And into like, little events like, um, that we've had like the cookout, we realized that we're spending more money on trying to get people to come rather than what we're getting in. But our fundraising, such as the chocolate fundraising, we gained a lot of money from that. So moving forward, we're going to do things more with that company as well as fundraising and partnershiping with like other, you know, stores like Chipotle. Um, I would say for, <laughs> for community service, um, I had with a um, organization called Progressive Maryland and they offered me lots of community service hours. I feel like using them as a source could open up community for the students as well as CCMS Food Pantry. I've worked closely with them 
And then I'm also in National Honor Society, and we have lots of community service hours opportunities for us. And we usually, you know, bring it out to the school as well. That's time. Jamal, okay? I'm so sorry. So the question is, how will you balance out your extra obligation and other activities, classes to ensure the success of your position? And we will start with Ogechi. Repeat your question, please. I said, how will you balance out your extra obligations and your other activities that's classes to ensure the success of your position? Um, okay, so for me, I actually participate in two sports, a fall sport and a winter sport. And um, for the past two years, uh, well, the past, yeah, two, because sophomore and junior year, I've seen that um, if I just discuss with my coach and try my best to um, make it to SG events and try to um, – Sorry, if I talk to my coach and discuss with my coach, like, for instance, SGA meetings, there are, like, times where, okay, I have to be at my SGA meeting at this time, and then I have to get to practice at this time, and it seems that my coach is very understanding to that. So, yeah, that's how I balance everything out. All right, thank you. Next, we have Precious. Um, well, I also am involved in a – I'm involved in a fall sport and I'm involved in a um, spring sport. As well as that, I'm also involved in various clubs, um, including um, um, the truth that I'm also involved in. Um, well, sometimes, sometimes they escape me, but I'm involved in a lot of other clubs that usually don't really take up too much time just because they are usually maybe like bi-weekly or monthly or they don't really um, occur often. So I know that I won't have to worry about them as much. Um, and when it comes to the sports that I participate in, just like Ogechi says, talking to our coaches really help um, balance out when we're supposed to, how long we have time to be at a meeting or how long we have time to participate when it comes to whatever may be going on at SJ and how long we can um, go to practice and make sure that we're Pertain, pertaining or participating in both without um, hindering one or the other. So I think I'm, I'm pretty okay when it comes to balancing that. And it's, it's since I've been doing it since um, particularly sophomore year, I know that it's something that I can do. So that's what I'm going to say. Thank you. And lastly, we have... Um, I've also been involved in sports. I'm just going to say, I, I, I do sports all year round. So um, I've always had to manage my time with sports and SGA because I feel like those are, like, the most demanding out of all the things that I do. And this year it worked out good. You know, um, I had close connections with my coach and also, the you know, Jordan being president. And um, it was easy to, like, manage my time, meaning, like, I'll spend half of my time at practice and half at um, SGA meetings. And I would make sure that Terry took down the notes and that my vice president or treasurer was there. And if not, we have um, a strong class council who are there who who come to most of the meetings, which is really great. So I feel like just having people all around to help, you know, it kind of just contributes to everything because, you know, you can't do everything by yourself. So I feel like that helped me um, manage my time. Um, and it worked out pretty great. So it was never a problem with time management. All right. Thank you. So this will be our last question. What makes you think about from your other candidates, but I understand that each of you are running unopposed. So what makes you stand out as a student? We can start with Precious. Um, so what makes me stand out from other students is um, basically the fact that I, as I've been involved in so much, I still, um, like, this is not just one thing I do. Even being involved in SGA, even being involved in other clubs, I still have a job that I attend, and I still have at home, I have little siblings that I take care of, but I still make room to 
participate and advocate as a student leader, as a student, at, um, even as a student athlete. I make sure that I'm able to allot my time to make sure that I'm doing something that really I am passionate about because I'm passionate about advocating and making sure our voices are heard and everything we need to be said, everything that we want to be said is said, even if I'm not entirely, even if I'm not entirely, um, even if it's not always, it's not all the time, I do make sure that I'm always there to advocate for what I, what we want to see some, for the most part. So, Time. Jim, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, um, next we will have. I got you. Thank you, Kathy. Um, I would say what makes me a strong candidate is that I'm not only I not like Precious said, I not only participate in SGA, but I also participate in other sports and other clubs in our school. And I feel like um, I'm able to manage um, all of that, as well as being in the IB program, which is a really rigorous program with a lot of schoolwork. So I feel like if I'm able to set aside time to participate in SGA and make it to majority of the events, then um, it's something that I'm really passionate about. And yeah. All right, thank you. Again, she and Lastly, we have Sona. Okay, um, like my two candidates also, I said candidates, yeah, I like the two candidates also previously previously stated. I feel like um, being able to juggle sports and other events as well as like AP and IB classes, I feel like that alone just makes us or myself stand on um, stand apart from like other students or just other candidates. But you know, since there's no other candidate, I would just say like as a student. And then um, on top of that, I feel like transitioning from freshman year till now, um, I like I never noticed anything, you know, coming first into the school, like no problems, none of that. But it's like as I've like gotten older, you know, went from sophomore year to junior year, I've seen things that I wanted to change. I've seen um the student body host walkouts for like hoodies, you know, wearing crocs and it's like things like that. I feel like I have a drive to be the voice for other students, you know, to be able to be a change. To be able to see a change, you know, and I feel like that is what sets me apart from other students because I'm not afraid to voice my opinions and what I want to see change in the school. Thank you. So, um, at this time, it is, you have the floor for your final statements. You have one minute. So, this is a time where you should clearly state your name and your position, and we will start. Oh, got you. Um, my name is Yogechi Onyekwe. I'm running for class of 2021 treasure. And I feel like I'm uh, appropriate for this position because I'm a person who is ready to advocate for the school, ready to um, determine and I'm hardworking. I'm able to juggle things like school, outside stuff with my home and SGA and still manage to participate. And yeah. All right, thank you. Followed by I guess you will have Precious. Alrighty, so hello, my name is Precious Agari once again. I'm running for vice president of the class of 2021. And as I've said before, I've been involved since freshman year. I've grown since freshman year and I'm ready to continue to execute my position as vice president. Um, and I'm ready to work with my other candidates and just other officers, sponsors, and our class council, just so we can ensure that senior year goes well for not only us, but our class as well. So um, make sure that you vote for who you feel is and I say I'm right. All right, thanks, Precious. Last week we'll have Sona Bundu. Okay, my name is Sona Bundu, and I'm running for the class president of 2021. And I feel as though I'm determined to make this one of the best years that we've had at Parkdale High School. This is our senior year, and I feel as though, you know, re-electing me for class president will bring us that same energy that we've had since freshman year, and that energy is to unite us as a class. And I feel as though that is the goal that I've had when I first started, and it's the goal that I want to take with me when I graduate. All right, thank you. So I do appreciate you all for your time, Mr. Adams. Okay, um, thank you all. You know, I'll camp. You all can continue to campaign, and um, voting will end on um, Sunday.
Okay. Okay. So thank you all for coming out. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey. Bye. No, I'm waving. All right. Bye. See you all. Bye, precious. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Adams, you gotta stop the recording.